this is the Hot Glass Studio down in Jamestown. I'm the owner of the business. Uh, I've been producing uh, blown glass, lampwork glass and fused glass for the last uh, 12 or so years. Um, set up in the beautiful Jeeveston at the end of the Huon Valley, one of the best places to be. My name is Ronan and I picked this because I've sort of had an interest in glass for a while. Um, but when I got to college, I did a glass class there. It wasn't as advanced as this, but it sort of, uh, it gave me a bit of a feel for what it was and I really, really enjoyed it. Well, I got involved with the uh, Shire and uh, it was about working with young people to give them a mentorship. And the reason I thought it was a great idea uh, when I was younger, I always wanted to get into glass, but I thought it was way too expensive and out of my league. And I think uh, it's great if young people want to get into something, but hopefully they don't fall into the trap of thinking it's out of their league or uh, impossible to be an artist. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to have any talent at all. It's, it's practice. You know, you work hard at anything, you'll get good at it. It's just the way it goes. So uh, I think with this opportunity, it's great to give young people a, a go at it. Well, I think a lot of people probably don't know what goes into glass stuff. Um, so they think, oh, this is like kind of scary or like, I don't think I could trust myself with this huge flame. It's been really different to what I was used to because uh, he uses like proper equipment. It is very expensive to get into. Um, when I first started, I just bought a hundred bucks worth of glass rods and a plumber's blowtorch. It is quite expensive to get set up straight away, um, but it's definitely what I want to do. But I absolutely love it. I think a lot of the time with art classes, it's a bit too uh, flat. So uh, I think the one-on-one thing, one -on -one thing really works. And again, uh, there's a lot of artists in the Huon Valley, probably one of the largest areas in the state. Um, not the state, but in the country for artists. Um, and there's a, a variety of mediums. And I think within a tight community of artists, it's a better way for people to learn when there's a lot of different people to learn from. It's good to be working with someone who actually, you know, is a proper glass blower instead of someone who doesn't really know as, as much about it. Because um, we can go, Craig goes into like more depth about what, um, what goes into it and the different types of equipment and all the different types of glass and what types of like firing temperatures they have, melting points and all that stuff. And I did not know that glass could boil, which is something that I learned when I got here. <laughs> Learning about how he makes his eyeballs but <laughs> for his different crabs and all this really cool stuff is really insane. He's the only one that does it. I think mentorship just, it gets rid of that stereotypical, here's how it's done, step A, B, C, and uh, it makes it a bit easier for people as well. People that do want to try something new that don't get a chance to do it, they don't have the equipment at home to do it, it's a really good place to start off. It's mind-blowing being in a proper glass blowing studio. Both the young guys seem pretty keen on it, they're into it. Um, and I think if I was a young guy, I'd be well into it and it would give me a huge leap ahead. There's not always a lot of opportunities in employment in Tasmania and I think it's a great idea to possibly look at giving young people an opportunity to be their own boss early in life through a creative medium. When I was applying for the mentorship, it was a bit like I wasn't sure if I was going to get it because I was like surely this would be like really popular because it's so much fun. And good to see a few more applicants but hey that's great you know. But yeah anyway one of those things so uh, maybe if it happens next time round you know word of mouth gets around these guys might talk to their friends who knows so we'll see how it goes. It's definitely a worthwhile thing.